I also highly encourage you to check with your host country. Let's say you wanted to study in the UK. See what types of laws they have set in place. They may already have support and accommodations. The United Nations has adopted standard rules on the equalization of opportunities for people with disabilities. The United Nations stated that interpreters should be provided to ensure inclusion of all people with disabilities. The caveat is that this is in suggestion only, as the United Nations doesn't have true authority in the sense that they are not able to dictate what the U.S. must do. Countries opt in voluntarily to the U.N.'s standards. It's a voluntary agreement, meaning they can back out at any time. That said, it doesn't hurt to look into it. There are over 45 countries that have some form of civil rights legislation that protects the rights of individuals with disabilities. For example, New Zealand is very friendly with folks with disabilities. So I highly encourage people to get involved, to look into study abroad programs. Visit the Services to Students with Disabilities office in your area or country. So you can try to see if the host country provides access services. It's really worth looking into. It's always best then to work with the university or college to ensure your study abroad experience is as smooth as possible. Because again, there are resources available to help you and I hope they do. You can always ask questions. This is why they are there, to ensure you have a good experience at the university. So work with the DSS office.